My name is Edward and I'm nine years old and this is my dog Max. When I was four years old I had neuroblastoma and I had to go to the hospital a lot. For a few weeks he had not been himself, he'd been losing weight, um, he had a variety of GI complaints that just didn't make sense. We were diagnosed in the emergency room at Children's by ultrasound and found out by imaging that he most likely had neuroblastoma. My initial reaction was devastation. When I found out, I was at a conference in Tampa. I think I must have cried for a solid 20 hours. I was actually the attending on the inpatient service when Edward was first diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma. And so I was there during the process of making his diagnosis, of talking with the family about what the therapy is going to be. Neuroblastoma is the most common, what we call a solid tumor, that occurs in kids um, outside of the brain. It requires very strong chemotherapy and surgery. It requires not one, but two bone marrow transplants, as well as radiation. And then the last part of treatment is this treatment that we call immunotherapy. After the first set of chemotherapy, we had a partial response. There were a few spots that we didn't realize were still there in his chest. But from our standpoint, chemo hadn't worked. Precision medicine um, is the, the concept of using genetic testing of a patient or a patient's tumor to identify therapies that would more effectively treat their particular cancer type. So we do DNA sequencing on the patient's tumor and use that approach to identify mutations in genes that we may be able to use a specific medicine to target. And so it allowed us to start this therapy um, that otherwise we would not have started. We have just such a high level of skill at Children's. Thanks to the precision medicine, we have a normal nine-year-old. Hey, Edward. Oh, it's Dr. What's up? I just heard that the biopsy is yeah, negative. negative. It's really exciting to be a part of building a program that allows for patients to get this tumor sequencing, and then being a part of a team to run that trial that shows that this therapy is incredibly effective. The outcome's not always like that, but for this, it, it truly was. It feels great to be uh, cancer-free now because I can grow up to be a botanist.